Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So, deal of a lifetime score at Value Village today. Sometimes you can actually get a deal, amazingly enough. Um, so, we are at Value Village and doing our little shopping thing because we had to go into North Bay anyway. And I thought we'd stop in there and see what they got. And so they had this set of Kenwood speakers uh, with a center speaker and they only wanted like 20 bucks for all three pieces. So it's kind of like, well, if the center speaker at least works, that's worth 20 bucks to me alone. Uh, I couldn't get the grills off in the store. They were on there pretty good. They're not grills that are made to come off, you know, uh, but they can, obviously. I got them off and uh, they're going to be going back on. But uh, I wanted you to see what's behind the grill. So we've got 10-inch uh, woofers, 3-inch um, tweeter, or sorry, 3-inch mid-range, and about an inch and a half, roughly, tweeter in them, okay? Um, not bad. Ported enclosure, of course, so you can get some extra thud, um, but not a tuned port enclosure. Uh, it's just a straight hole in there. So they're not super high-end Kenwood speakers, but they are actually pretty good, and surprisingly enough, everything works perfect. Uh, I hooked them up to our main home stereo, which we have some really monster speakers on with 15-inch woofers. Um, and uh, they, all three pieces work absolutely great. Um, now, I don't need another center speaker, so I'll probably just, you know, resell the, the center speaker. But uh, the main speakers, I'm going to build a stereo for in the studio in here. Um, I've been creating more space. Um, but uh, anyways... So, starting point is, I need speakers, I have a tape deck, yes, I still listen to cassettes, okay? I love cassettes. Uh, and I do have um, a CD Walkman I could hook up as a CD player if I really want to. But, uh, anyways, so, these are 140 watts each tower, and the center speaker is good for 100 watts, and of course, all three of them are 8 ohm mode. I went and did a little bit of research online, and the center speaker currently, right now, uh, there's one on eBay for about $30 US, so that's like not quite 60 bucks Canadian. Um, and the speakers themselves, just by themselves, um, they're selling highest price I saw was $150. So for $20 I paid for all three pieces, that is a really sweet deal. And the fact there's no damage to them, they work great, hassle free, and they actually sound fairly good. I mean, they don't sound as good as our big speakers, but hey, come on, our big speakers got like 15 inch woofers. I mean, come on, you can't really compare that way. But for what these are, they actually do sound quite, quite good. Um, and I'm sure at, you know, 140 watts a channel cranked up, they're going to thump pretty good. Not that I need that kind of power in here, because what I want is an amplifier that's got low wattage, high current, clean juice. So I'm going to try and see if I can find a NAD or Maybe an old Marantz amp, that sort of thing. Um, I'll see what I can find online, you know. But um, otherwise, it's the starting of a new stereo, but for in the studio in here. Um, so anyway, uh, the center speaker, like I said, I'm not even going to bother using it. I'm just going to, you know, resell the center speaker. There's nothing wrong with it. It's fine. Works perfect. But uh, I don't need surround sound in here. I just need thump power, you know. But, uh, so a good starting point. But anyway, um, the model of the speakers are a Kenwood JL464 and CRS156, I believe, is the center. Let me just double check that there. CRS156 is the center speaker. <coughs> so we've got a center speaker uh, on our stereo in the living room anyways. It's Paradigm, so hey, why put a Kenwood on when you got Paradigm? But um, anyhow, um, I'm quite happy with the deal. I'm quite happy with the speakers. And uh, I'm sure they'll last me for quite a while. You know, so that won't be any kind of a problem there. And besides, how do you beat 20 bucks? I mean, at the Hawk Shop, uh, the one in North Bay that we go to the most, we were actually looking at a set of Kenwoods that actually have removable grills that are made to come off really easy. And they wanted like 100 bucks, right? And we were kind of like, all right, well, hook them up. Let's see what they sound like. And uh, we're not very impressed with the sound of them. These actually sound way better. Um, and I can't remember the model number of the ones at the Hawk Shop, but, you know, they still did not sound as good 
as these do and our end goal was to have something big uh, with some big woofer so we ended up of course going for the ones that we did um, actually I'll probably have a review coming up on those pretty soon um, show you those things um, they got 15 inch drivers and that's kind of like yeah we need that kind of power yeah mm, competition no um, anyways yeah, vibrates the house pretty good let me tell you it's great watching movies uh, but anyhow, um, so if you're looking at speakers and you're kind of wondering, you know, are these any good? Um, they are pretty good, you know, and I did turn them up mm, about halfway and uh, they can put out a bit of thump. So that, that's a good thing, you know, they, and it's a clean thump, you know. Um, very crystal clear on the mids and tweeters too. A very well pronounced um, audio out of those two. So they, they do sound very nice. Um, I probably couldn't have asked for better even for the money if I would have bought these online you know I probably would have paid uh, well me I probably would have paid about 100 bucks for them tops online but like I said the most expensive set I did see online is selling for 150 so you know and that was just the two speakers that's no center speaker um, we're still looking for satellites speakers though for our stereo in the, in the living room but we'll find eventually what we're looking for and of course a subwoofer and then we got some real serious thumpy power which is cool but anyway in the meantime thanks for watching and checking out the video um, when I get a stereo set up in this room I will record some music on it and um, you'll be able to hear uh, what these things sound like in here um, in this room anyways and it'll give you a rough idea but uh, anyways thanks for watching catch you on the next one ciao